Okay, YouTube. Girls. Women. I gotta tell you, um, I am disappointed that the, there's a, such a lack of females, girls, in the IT workplace. And I, this video is going to try to open your mind, expand your mind, and get you excited and realize the potential that you have as a girl, female, in the IT industry. Now, um, the problem is, when I went to college, I didn't have any idea. I, I thought, well, I'm pretty good at computers. I'm going to take these computer classes, and I heard they make I heard they make a lot of money straight out of college. So I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And I found out that I wasn't that great at math, or I wasn't great at memorization, which I'm going to do a video on. Mem math is a lot of memorization in school, okay? So I got into computers, and I realized I didn't need that much math. Here, I'm telling you, I'm telling you girls, I'm telling you women, you don't need math that much in programming. Programming is logic. Logic is different than math. I'm not that good at math. I'm a great programmer. I've made a living at it for about 16, 17 years now. I started when I was in, I graduated when I was in, in 1997. Got a programming job, low level, worked my way up, got lots of experience, lots of experience. Moved to a bigger city, got a bigger pay raise, I'll tell you that story later. But I never was great at math. I would understand everything the teacher would talk about. When it came to the test, I would forget everything because I'm not that good at memorization. Okay, so my point is you don't have to be great at math to do programming. But in college, I started taking these programming classes and I noticed when I got in the higher levels, I looked around, there were no women around. None. Maybe one in probably 50, maybe one in 60. I would look around, no girls, no women in, in college programming. And so, by the way, I went to Missouri State. I got a CIS degree, Computer Information Systems. It was business and computers at the same time, okay? So, I had a really hard time getting married, meeting somebody in college because I waited so long. I looked around, there's no girls in these classes. But I never really knew why. Okay, so I went to work in the real world, and there were a lot of women in the workplace in these corporations. I worked in dozens of corporations, okay? There's women everywhere, but not a lot in IT and especially programming. But why? That's what I'm going to try to explore here, and I'm not a woman, can't tell you, I can't tell you exactly why, but I'm going to try to dispel some myths and tell you what I think is wrong and hopefully change your mind and get you into the IT industry if you want to go in and find an interest in it because there's a lot of money to be made there's a career there if you need a career and you want to work there's career in coding it's not just coding there's there's supplemental rules all around programming okay I'm gonna talk about that so I was I've been programming at many corporations I was a consultant and contractor and I would look around and probably, seriously, 1 in 50, 1 in 30 were actual programmers were women. Every time there was one and I found one or saw one, they were really good. They were really good. But why? Why were there so few? Okay, I have some theories. I have a pretty good idea why. And it's based on my own experience. And I know, I pretty, I pretty much know why. Or I believe I, believe I know why. Okay. So, let's go over the reasons why I think there's no or very few women in IT or programming specifically. Because there's programming and then there's IT and there's a lot of people that surround the, the people that are in IT that are programmers, okay? Number one reason I think there's no girls in programming is because there's such a lack of interest. I have two daughters. Two. One of them is 11, the other's too, too young yet to tell what she's going to do. Every time I try to show something science-y or, or programming, she kind of just kind of like isn't interested. She just not, doesn't have that, I'm not, I just, she's just not interested. That you can change. That you can change your attitude. You can, you can be interested in things that you know will benefit you. Okay? So, 
you have to change your interests. If you're interested in making a career or moving into a career in IT, you have to change your attitude and say, I am interested, and you have to find your motivation and your reason why you're interested, okay? So number one problem is interest. I, I understand, I don't understand, but there is a fact that girls tend to not be interested in computers. Generally speaking, of course there's women interested, but as I see it, as my daughter, I try to get her, I try to get her interested, I try to see, get other people interested. In general, they're not, but that can be changed. That's up to you, okay? Number two, intimidation. There's all these men in IT, right? There's all these men and boys and stuff, and they're kind of a boys club. And men are kind of like rough and mean, right? And you're intimidated by the, the maybe the math or the logic, okay? Well, that, again, is up to you. There's no reason to be intimidated. There's some very, yes, there's very smart people in IT and programming. And there are some arrogant jerks. That's a nice word for me saying there's arrogant jerks in it. I'm not one, but I've met them, and they make your life miserable. I'm not a girl. I'm telling you, this happens to me. I have this experience. You can break through that. Okay? We all have that experience. You're going to have that in any, any uh, field that you go into. Yes, there are some arrogant jerks in IT. That's the, one of my main pet peeves. But I'm not one of them, and most people are not. Okay? So, my point is, I'm also affected by these arrogant people. But you don't need to be intimidated, because a lot of them are just as... They're just as afraid to try things new or show their ignorance as you are, okay? So, there's an intimidation factor. It's all men, it's a boys club. That's not really true, because there's people in it that are, that are not as smart as you. There's people that are in it that are as smart as you, and there's people in it that are more smart as you, and there's people with no experience, and there's people with lots of experience. It's your job not to be intimidated by these people because because you can gain experience and that's what this channel is about it's going to get you and I haven't had a lot of time to make the videos yet uh, tutorials and tutorials and tutorials of how to get started in programming because coding is for you that's the point of the, all of this is to get people into coding girls women whatever children kids eight-year-olds sixty-year-olds doesn't matter we're going to get you into programming and you're going to figure out why it's good for you and why there's a career in it and why everyone needs to be a coder. Everyone needs to be a coder because there's so much you can do with it. Okay, so there's uh, intimidation. There's It's a boys club. There's not many women in it. Now, here's the third thing I want to tell you. There is opportunity for you as a female to be a programmer. I have literally heard technical recruiters say they actively search for females, but they cannot find them. They will come as a premium if you're a female because they need your perspective. Men and women have different perspectives and different creativity. I literally heard a recruiter tell me, we want women, we're looking for them, but we cannot find them. Okay. Do you understand there's opportunity there for you? You have to understand that you can do it. You just have to go through the same steps I did. You have to start at the bottom, learn, learn. You have to be interested. You have to develop a passion, and that's what this channel is about. That's what this website's about. It's, it's telling you you can do it. There's an opportunity there if you just learn a little bit. Okay, here's my summary. You may not like programming, but... There's so many supporting roles around a programmer that you, if you don't even like programming, you can go do the supporting role. And I'm going to talk about that right now. But you still should learn some coding. Learn something. Pick up a language. Learn it. Anything you can learn at all is great. Anything. If you learn Python, if you learn COBOL, if you learn uh, PCs, if you learn Word, Excel, all that stuff, if you just learn it, it will supplement everything else. I'll, and I'll give you a little story here in a second. Alright, the supporting roles of a programmer. 
the programmers are at most corporations part of a team of many other people. A lot of people get into programming as a programmer and then they move up to a project manager, then they go to a manager, then they go to a senior manager, all that stuff. That's why you can learn programming and get into a position and then move up and do something else if you don't really like programming. All right, business analyst. That is a job you may not have even heard of before. This job is, I, I don't think I've ever met a, a male business analyst before. All the BAs I've worked with at all these different companies, female. What is a business analyst? Business analyst is a, is a person who goes to the business and they figure out what they want. They write it down, they write a lot of documents, and then they give it to the programmer and say, here, you program this. That is a great job for any female anywhere if they don't want to be a programmer, which I think you can be, but I don't know if you, why you don't want to be, okay? Business analyst goes, so go look up business analyst jobs. The problem with business analysts is there's fewer of those because one business analyst can work with three or four programmers, so you have one to many. There's lots of programming jobs, but fewer business analyst jobs. Now, what else can you do? Project manager. Project manager sits over here, business analyst, they manage a project. They don't need to code. You don't need to know how to code. It helps, but you don't need to know. So you can manage a project as a project manager. You can manage a project as a business analyst, and you don't even need to code. You can man be a manager of a project manager, of a business analyst, of coders, and you don't need to code. Do you see how once you get into the, into the industry, you can move around, you can do all sorts of different things, but it starts with coding. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to make videos step by step how to do some coding, and every single thing you can learn will help you. All right. So I'm telling you, females, number one, you can code. You just have to go through the same gritty process that I did. You have to be interested. You have to see there's a, that there's a future. You have to start at the bottom. You have to learn basics of programming. Once you learn the basics of programming, integers, uh, data types, variables, loops what kind of programs, there's web forms, there's windows forms. Once you learn these basics, you can get a job and get started, then move into a project manager role or business analyst. So anyway, I hope this helps you. I want to get you started. I want to get you excited. Um, I have yet to make a single tutorial that's coming, uh, but this video was to, to get everyone excited, especially females, get into IT. I'm going to get my daughters into it. And they may not like it, that's fine, but they'll at least always be employable. They'll always have a job. They'll always be able to find something because everything is software. Coding is for you. Everything is, soft, is going to software. The more you know, the more you're going to succeed in this new world. And I wish you the best.